Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Ba Ba Screw it, let's take it. And welcome to another episode of Let's Play Europe Universalis 4 as the Netherlands. See, normally I would retake that, but yeah, it's fine. Ah, uh, Christmas Islands has been taken. Um, oh good, we have a Caravel. Uh, Caravel. Oh! Yeah, it's Caravel. Um, I we want a, uh, we're gonna want a flight over here. We can't do that. We can build it here, though. So we will let... <sighs> These tiny islands are like the worst thing ever. Click. No! <laughs> Let's just click the plus, maybe. There we go. Build me that, so you're gonna be able to leave at some point. That'll be great. Um, and then what we will do, it would be nice to do some more colonies over here. Oh, and this does potentially give us a CB against Majapit. It does, doesn't it? Well, it doesn't give us a CV. But we could fabricate or something like that. And you know what? We've got a diplomat. Let's go ahead and fabricate a claim on Mataran. What's our mission? Spices. Right. Which is the whole reason for doing all this kind of nonsense. Um, I don't know if Demak or Sunda have spices. I could send a colonist over there for a Jesse, but I really would like to get stuff started on, um, on Madagascar. So I'm going to go ahead and send a colonist here like crappy tax base they're worth virtually nothing but it's mostly about blocking other people plus we do get some uh some trade benefits so we're going to do that we obviously will need to send a um an army over there at some point but we don't have to rush to it quite yet actually we might end up with a couple of spare people from uh this besieging so we're going to try to finish sieging the rest of um well, we're just trying to get some war score against Castile at this point. Whether we actually siege them or not is... Well, we'll see how it goes. Demerland taking control of Sungao. That's actually very annoying. Um, I can probably just accede to your demands at this point. We'll accept your demands. It'll kind of suck. Where are you going? You're going to Zurich right now, yeah. We'll accept your demands. Just leave me alone. Thank you. I'm kind of busy right now. Uh, we need everyone there to besiege that. One a siege. Really? With two cannons, we want a siege there. That's excellent. Um, let's see if we can grab some more coastal stuff. I don't suppose there's any cores left over here. There is. We could annex and then release Granada. Obviously, an um, incorporating these guys later sucks, but... Like, it's not as easy as it used to be, but I think that's probably what we want to do. Well, we'll see what we can get into peace deal. We'll work on getting the coast and then figure out exactly how we want to behave going forward. Detach. Actually, you know what? We'll grab some more stuff on the coast up here, too. Potentially. Uh, rebel sentiment, rebel sentiment. Colony is self-sustaining. Hooray! All right, well, with that, then, we will go and... Send one colonist over to Damak and go there. That's my caravel that's supposed to be exploring. And Granada and starting to do that. Excellent. We do need to get Alabama, which should fall pretty fast, I would hope, because it's... Oh, it does have a four level of two. Mm, color me impressed. Under attack over there, but we're going to be okay. See, oh my god, so many pop-ups. Hang on. What just finished? Right over here. Good. Then you... Make your way over to, uh, I don't know, Gibraltar, I suppose. Well done. Navies are under attack over here, but they're going to lose their entire navy, and I'm going to feel fantastic about that. Siege of Rio de Oro is over, and there's really nothing left for me to do with these troops here at this point. I can't reach anything. Um, I guess I'll leave them camped out, just to say. Although, they're not going to be able to actually fight against any rebels that might spawn. But they will spawn weaker. I don't know. We'll leave them there. What the hell? And you're there, and we're waiting for the colonist. Excellent, awesome, wonderful. We're making some money again. We could start doing merc things, which uh, we probably will have to at some point. Because we don't have manpower, but we do have money. Okay, we won that battle, as expected. Uh, merge these guys up. Detach damage. Grab the damaged ones and send them into Tangiers. Okay. Nope, discovered fabricating a claim. Looted expired. Navy arrived safely in Tangiers. Siege of Cordoba is done. Good. So you move to Cadiz. Please and thank you. 
Right, from Gibraltar, getting stuff done. I don't suppose we could... Oh my god. I don't know what happened. Yeah, we can detach a little bit more. Uh, so go ahead and go up there. <gasps> Why well, isn't like the things that I want? Oh my god. What the hell? Like... How do I select... There we go. I just held shift and then kept clicking over here. Um, join you guys together, detach, okay, we do need everyone. Dock is completed in Tangiers, that's really nice, but let's go ahead and keep building Navy things. Even more repair time. Decreased shipbuilding is less important, but this is going to be an important repair port. It's going to be important for a lot of things, actually, but we'll just keep doing this for now. We got an active Cardinal, go us. We're still working on three, which is fine. Uh, what's the actual status of things? Steel's got one. They're competing over here. Nah, we're, we've got it locked in. Once we stop being reformed, though, I don't suppose there's any way we can, like, excommunicate these guys or anything. I never look for the papal actions, but... We're, we're doing fine. Uh, you are there. Detach a siege? Yeah. Grab some more stuff. Now, whether we want to incorporate into our cells or... Why are things flipping in color? Or um, add it to Belgium will be an interesting thing. We can get disordered. National revolt risk up by 2%. We really can't afford to do that. Or we can lose prestige. You know what? We've got tons of prestige, and we're going to get more prestige in the war. So we can easily afford to do that. This war score is going to flip dramatically as soon as we get um, uh, Alabama. Although what sucks is that we didn't get it a little bit sooner, so we're still going to have to wait for the ticking war score to go all the way up. On the Siege of Mercia. Nice. Let's move up here. We're going to have 100% stripiness on uh, Castile, whether we get Alabama or not. We're going to get a perfect war score. Ah, so good. And the next stop, Portugal. Since uh, we might get a coalition nonsense, that's true. But otherwise, there will be a truce with Castile, which means the fact that they have an alliance is not going to matter. Because they still have an alliance. Apparently, when I interceded in the colonial war, because it was a war against Florida, which pulled in Castile, but that didn't cascade to Portugal in terms of alliances. That's actually really interesting. That's good to know. Uh, really? We might... Just hold out a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. Because they have the penalty right now, which is great. Uh, we lost that. We will engage and probably win, although we might have the penalty. Detach what siege we can. Send them over there. Although it looks like they may have been moving in on me. It's probably right to still engage them with low morale, but... Oh, that roll sucks. Come on. We can do this with, like, one decent roll on our on our side here. This Kaya is done. So why don't you move to Galicia? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Good. Whew. Losing some manpower like crazy, though. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to have you move to Seminole for now. Excellent. Uh, oh, I never did this. Detach a siege. Go there. Uh, these ships. Grab my transports. There's going to be way too many of them. But let's go and pick these suckers up. Do that. Come down here. Okay, that's fine. Asturias. Excellent. Let's move you to here. One Siege of Alabama. Good. That's going to be a lot of war score in our favor. Where are you running off to? Um, probably around here. Not a leader, though. You know what? Go here. Go there. We'll merge you up together and then go and hit the rest of the troops. That'll work out nicely. Belgium's got a good number of troops again. You guys are in good shape. Very nice. We can invest in a new idea. So, we can get optimism for less war uh, wariness or war exhaustion, but we don't have a whole lot going on right now. Cheaper advisor cost is really nice. Leaders thought upkeep is really nice. Innovative is just, like, sexy. Also, what kind of policies can we unlock if we finish innovative? That's an excellent question. I'm happy you asked. Um, did I never do that? I thought I did that. Maybe I didn't. So, innovative would give us benign neglect. 
more global trade power, increased settler chance. Oh, I like that a lot. And also, modern firearm techniques, better infantry, better siege. That is very good, and we're pretty close to finishing that. Alternatively, we could work on our expansion ideas. Uh, global settler increase of plus 10 is really, 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 really nice. Um, more diplomats. No, more diplomatic relations. Yeah, all right, okay. Shipbuilding time, diplomatic reputation, power. CBs against Asian nations could be very handy, and it unlocks colonial expansion of plus one colonist and free army tradition, which is probably not worth grabbing. Um, I think if we finish innovative, we also get more... There may be events that this opens up for us. Oh, we got to take the global settler increase, though. No, that's that's way too good for us right now. Or cancel because we're going to need the points to core things. You know what? That's what we're going to do. Merge up. Oh, maybe we don't want to engage. No, it's fine. So they're probably going over there. You've arrived there. We are going to merge you. And oh, we can no longer detach a siege. Awesome. Because the way the transports work. Tell you what. When are you going to reach there? March 1st. Just come here. Come here. And we'll dock here. And then we'll reinitiate the blockade in a second. Won the siege of Madrid. Uh, I guess go and help siege there. Yeah, seems like a good idea. 62% war score. And the war score for grabbing this stuff down here is really cheap. Uh, you go out to sea. And we'll detach a siege and then redock. Okay. What? I can't detach it. Oh, right, because I forgot. The transports will never let you detach a siege, even though they can siege. Obviously. All right, that's fine. I can leave a 15 stack out there. Grab these guys, get on a boat, take the boat guys, and I think my plan... It's not Castilian, eh? No. I think my plan was to move them to Madagascar. There's a bunch of troops still sitting around in Ceylon as well. I'm trying to remember what the hell my plan was there. There's some maybe some more island nations and stuff I could grab. But no, we're going to move. I need some troops over here, right, because I'm sending a colonist. He's nearly there. Okay. Oh, so good. Do that. We won the Siege of Damerland. Lovely. We'll just have you merge up over there. That'll be fine. You guys no longer need to be here at all. So I think what I'm just going to do is pull you back home. We're going to have you dock in Tangiers, and we're going to figure out what we want to do there. We should really fill in these two gaps over here. It's not a massive priority, but it would be damn nice to do. Religion, they're still just reform people, which is fine. I got to double check the uh, event file to figure out when the, uh, the mission to convert will come up. really do need to complete our missions, too, to keep that open. Um, good. Oh, you went up there. Uh, I guess we're going to have to try to save you. Oh, it looks like you're on your way to saving things. So that's fine. Mm, stay in one place. It's okay. All right. Diplomat came home. Won the Siege of Granada. Lovely. Um, I'm starting to think we can just send our people to friendly territory. You know, or maybe here for a strike against Portugal, we still have no manpower. <laughs> We're short by 32,000 people, so yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to keep saying that over and over. Yeah. It sounds creepy. Well, if you say anything right, it sounds creepy, right? Uh, we got a revolt. Uh, which might unsiege things, which would be really bad. Well, not really bad, but really inconvenient. So, let's get some people parked up there. Which really isn't much. We might have to respond with some mercs at this point. I think it actually is the time for mercs. We'll get one cannon going on there. And then spam a bunch of infantry. I mean, we're going to reinforce them with our own things as well. We can buy mercs in occupied territory? Did I know that? 
Did I miss the memo? Look at this. Oh, it's mostly longtime rivals, which is going to keep going. Although, if we hurt Castile too much, we might actually lose another rival, but it's not going to happen. We can't take that much away from them, no matter how much we'd like to. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you didn't walk through enemy territory. Thanks. Uh, way too many troops, but we'll we'll do what we can. We're going to get some people standing everywhere. We're on the Siege of Gibraltar. Excellent. So you can head up to here. Okay, that's all great. That's fine. So, here we are. Create some new units. So we're going to go infantry. A pair of infantry, infantry is actually going to be enough, but we'll throw in a cannon as well. So you can go up there, and then we're going to go... We've got too much cav. Uh, yeah, hold on. Stay put. We literally have too much cav. Hmm. Well, we're not going to get the tactics bonus, but we can do something like this. Like that. Inf it's still going to be enough to, to fight off rebels, so it's fine. And a cannon, and go there. And then here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to leave ourselves one infantry, one cav, one cannon. And the rest of these guys can get back on the boat. Call for peace is triggering. Because mm, we have the war goal. We have an advisor slot. Um, I think I'm probably going to take trade efficiency. I don't think I need the colonial range or the better relations over time. And these guys start to get a little bit on the pricey side. So trade efficiency. Ammo. We've arrived there. How many troops are we kicking around here now? Mm, not enough. But soon. There. On that siege. Good. Let's go to Pensacola. Uh, actually, these are actual Castilian territories, which would be super nice to damage as well. Um, no, I'm going to save my points because we may need to do some coring very, very quickly. Oh, right. My guys are going to be on the wrong side to defend against that. Um, Cosmopolitan Patriots. How come I can't negotiate with you? You're not even in the list. I'm very confused. Okay, we're, I guess at some point, going to have to ferry some troops over. Hmm, yeah, this is starting to be a little bit of a pain in the ass. All right, you guys. And you've arrived over here. And what are you? Caravel doing trade, right? Needed a few repairs. I guess what we're going to do is we'll land over here. We'll group up these guys and send them over to the New World at some point. Okay, that's fine. We're on the Siege of Leon. 73% ain't bad. Reinforce over here. But we'll try to get as much out of them as possible. Certainly something we can do. Nice autosave. Uh, oh, that was versus natives. Cadiz! Make your way up there. We were discovered. Should be okay. Rebels, that's fine. These are all little traitors and stuff like that. Not particularly exciting, but they're going to keep doing their thing. Toledo is ours. Uh, we'll send you here anyway, even though I don't think it's required anymore. Call for peace. We're oh, still okay. The war exhaustion will go up quickly, but we've got a lot of time to wait for that. Uh, oh, that's the thing here. Totally fine. If we can get the cape, which would be cheap. Hmm. 
Mm, no leader. No one available? You're doing that thing. You're doing that thing. Well, I guess we'll just have to take away these nationalists. They're a little bit tougher than they could be. Uh, they have a leader who is not fantastic, but he's okay. So we'll have you join up over there, and you can go over there. Not terrible odds, and they haven't flipped positive yet. New stud holder! 4 1 2. Did lose a stability. We're actually at minus. Oh, man. Wars and stuff. That's really bad. We're going to have to pump that up. We still have no Republican tradition whatsoever. I don't see anything that's going to boost this anytime soon. Nothing I know about. So I'm going to have to go up to at least a plus zero. Well, we'll see what we can do after that. Man, I'm happy I kept my admin points. Uh, you're there. You can stay there. Well, on that siege, which is grand. You can, you can hear the enthusiasm. Um, go over here. I don't know, maybe it doesn't really matter. Uh, and there's no more there's no more blockades going on here, which is kind of funny. So meet up in Tangiers and you know we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get troops over to the new world. They're at positive numbers, so go and smash them. And queue up reinforcements. Go to Navarre, I suppose. It's going to be a little bit closer for certain things. Oh, France expanded over there. Too bad they're not our rivals. Austria want to siege down here, which is great. I think that's all I'm going to bother with. I'm going to move my troops up at this point. Um, you know what? Even this one. It's going to take too long to siege. Make your way up. Imperial reforms. Gemenferpfnig thing. Whatever. Um, so the emperor gets 15% more tax. We get plus one diplomatic relation, uh, reputation, which is nice. But not terribly important. And we're going to have to figure out what to do with the emperor at some point. We're going to have to give him some new clothes, if you know what I mean. Wait, that doesn't actually mean anything. Uh, good. Get to Navarra. You can stop here as well. Salamanca is done. You can go over there. Okay, that's being shattered. Great. Finish that siege as quickly as you can. Are you a trading ship? You are? Oh, what are these extra checkboxes? Go home at war. Oh, yeah, that's really handy. Holy crap. I mean, you guys are doing okay, but you know what? Honestly, especially if it's like an automatic and then you'll redeploy afterwards, that would be incredibly useful. Do I have any others that are still doing the trade thing? Yeah, just dock if there's a war. I mean, I realize that you guys are pretty safe out here. Maybe, maybe it's overkill. Yeah, whatever. We'll have some go at war so we don't lose everything. Depends on where it is. The problem is we've just got too vast of a territory at this point. That it, it doesn't make as much sense to micromanage that aspect of things. Meet up over here. I'm going to reform our grand glorious army or navy. We'll have to reorganize all our trade routes again. Despite everything being named all nice and cool right now. If I keep merging everything up. Alright, I'm not terribly concerned. We're at 97%. Do we need to wait for anything else? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think we're in a hurry to grab Gleese yet. Let's see what kind of stuff we can uh, negotiate at this point. Alright, clear offer. So ideally, one thing, we'd like to return core there. It would cost, cost us some diplomatic points, but it's pretty useful overall so that's going to be number one next thing if we sort by war score so there's a lot of overseas stuff we can grab some of it does lead to overextension though uh we know we want andalusia though like war score be damned i 
We could leave them Cadiz and do something like that. We could then turn around, release Granada, which would be these two provinces. And then on a follow-up war, we could feed Almeria back to Granada. And that ain't bad. And then we could spend the extra points grabbing random stuff like uh, in, uh, in the cape here. Oh, I should let this finish. It'll be exactly 100%. It'll be above the war score, but they'll probably still go for it. Okay, that, that sounds fine. Plus, we might tick into a little bit more war score in a second anyway. There. Let's try that again. And that. 100% they'd accept. Okay, this would give us 110% overextension. Really? Although, 20% uh, of that we'd immediately eliminate. So that would bring us to 70% overextended. God, what was that I was saying about like not wanting overextension so we could get some trade? Um, yeah, I think that's going to be what we want to do. It's going to put us up over our limit once more, but that's going to be okay. I don't see any reason why not to do this get them to cancel some vassals. We could just get them, like, release countries. Um, but I don't think that would actually help us much. So, give us Andalusia, Gibraltar, Granada, Damerland, Lesser, Namaqualand, ben Bengala, Bengala? I don't know. Uh, and return Rueng to Armagnac would cost us 223 points. 48 aggressive ex yeah, which almost guarantees that Portugal will join a coalition war, or a coalition against me, which would include France and Castile, and make it harder to attack um, Portugal. But we would be advancing our interest a fair amount, I think. And then it's fine. I mean, if it turns out, oh, we don't want to be attacking Portugal right now, then then that's okay. Then we just don't. Then we, you know, we rebuild again. We keep doing that sort of thing. Uh, and we are certainly going to get a lot of power projection. It's nice that we've got the plus one leader. And maybe we'll get enough power projection out of this to actually get the plus one to all power. Uh, why are we at 98 peace offer? What happened? Did something actually get cheaper somewhere along the way? Okay, and then listen, this and that. That's what's important. And then some stuff down here. Oh! I didn't actually toggle that on. There we go, 100%. Derp, that was close. And then I'll have the entire coast. It's nothing in the new world, but that's okay. And it doesn't do anything in terms of Alabama and any of that nonsense, which was actually the original war goal. So it doesn't help Belgium, but it helps me. Although, if I did take more stuff over here, would it colonize? No, I'd have to core it first, just like up here. Core it to become a colony. Alright, it's fine. It's totally fine. Send. Boom. Should have maybe put a cut in here. The episode is long enough. Um, okay. Let's immediately create a vassal. Because, yeah, that overextension, really bad. And it would take a lot of administrative points to do it. It'll cost us diplomatic points later on, but we're not really it's fine we're not in a rush to do that um there you are granada and gibraltar will be released our vassal will be catholic which is fine seventy percent very manageable uh i will move you to here that's going to be okay we'll group you up we will merge this up i suppose and we have no transports No transports anywhere. Uh, let's get you to come in here as well. I guess, oh, right. All my transports were down here. I was going to dock. Uh, this will have to wait until next episode. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.